Our next director is Zach Bowman, and he directed And the Boy Was Happy, a story about a father who falls out of love with his son. We're going to talk to him to find out a little bit more about what that film is all about. Zach, welcome to the show. Good to be here. <laughs> all right, so can you give our audience just a summary of what the film is all about? Yeah, the film is about a husband and a father who, uh, whose wife uh, died in childbirth. And the father uh, had a relationship with the son afterwards that was a loving relationship. And, but pretty soon the father's love for the son uh, waned and he became obsessed with his dead wife. He became obsessed with that love that he had for his wife, and he did try to find ways to uh, restore that love. He um, sought other women, and the son, as the son got older, the father, the father's love for him sort of became a love for these other possible women that would come into his life, and the son didn't really like that, and the son would try to find ways to drive them away. <laughs> and this is more subtext. Some of this isn't really even in the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, there's maybe only a couple lines that, that say all that. But anyway, but the son is driving all these women away, and the father is not really happy about all that, and it's causing the father, it's, he's almost shooting himself in the foot because it's causing the father to um, not like the son even more because the son wants all that love for him. Mm -hmm. he, you know, um, and uh, the father's obsession ends up becoming his downfall, and... Uh, and that is the be that is mainly the beginning of the story. So, but, what inspired you to, to to write and direct this film? Well, this film is actually a rehashing of a very short film that I did in two thousand eight, which was about a, a psychotic boy who uh, murders his father, and his father turns into a zombie, and then he has to keep killing his zombie father who keeps coming back to life at random points during the day. But every time he uh, kills the father zombie or, you know, the zombie father, he, um, uh, he uh, has fun with him as if he's like some kind of doll. Like he, he sets him up to play games with him and he tries to come up with uh, improvised ways to, to play games with, with, as you would a, a dead body. Like he plays catch right. with him by throwing a a tennis ball at him and then having the tennis ball roll back to him and that's how he plays games with his dead father who occasionally becomes a zombie. Anyway, I wanted that that small story to, you know, I wanted to make it more interesting. I wanted to have more of a story. Mm. So I ended up so that that part is a much a much smaller part of this film now where the father's no longer really a zombie, but he's a zombie in the imagination of uh, the son, mm -hmm. and the whole be and the whole beginning of the movie is about the father and his obsession with uh, his dead wife, yeah. and the whole story in general is about this um, inheriting obsession and this obsession to how it just goes around and around and around. And the father, the father's obsession for the dead wife, and now the son's obsession with his dead father, and. Talk a little bit about um, the way you chose to edit the film your use of color sound because I, I felt like with this film you used um, all the pa pieces of the palette that you could um, to, to tell the story and I think it's a very interesting way I feel like you have a visual eye you kinda knew what you wanted to do you knew what you wanted in terms of sound sometimes I felt like I'm watching a, a live-action anime because <laughs> you know like if, if people get mad then the, the screen goes red but and then we're slapped back into reality you know I just right. talk a little bit about that well I did want to express what was going on through you know through um, special effects and color as much as I could the uh, the uh, past is represented by a very soft, uh, almost out of focus palette that is a little bit faded in color in some regions and then extremely saturated in other regions. For instance, mm -hmm. the past, as it is um, the the the, glor the glorified past, the past that is good, the past in which everybody loves each other and everybody gets along and everybody's happy and they're playing on a playground, is uh, extremely saturated and very very soft to give this very uh, playful and very friendly feel. And then the present is uh, not completely black and white, but very, very desaturated, very harsh light and harsh tones. So that um, it gives you the impression that this is a very, you know, 
dark and harsh prison. And, um, and yeah, when um, the, the whole film, most of the film is seen through the eyes of Bud, the, the, the father. Mm -hmm. And, because, the and because I show the film that way, I want to exacerbate the colors in some places, or excuse me, not exacerbate, but exacerbate some of the colors <laughs> in, yeah. in, 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 some, in some places because we're seeing it through his mind. Right, right, right. Through his eyes, and um, it's almost like uh, we're witnessing him going crazy through his perspective. Right. Um, question. Do you, do you plan to make this uh, a feature or anything? Because I, I, I feel like it's very interesting. You you get sucked into the rabbit hole. What is going on? You know what I mean? Like, are you going to make this uh, a little longer? or? It, it's, it's funny you say that because when I originally wrote it, it was longer. And I did want it to be a feature. Um, but then uh, due to uh, issues with time, I had to cut out a few scenes and I had to cut down the script. And so, and I, it, but it was too long to be a short film, right. so so I was stuck between a short <laughs> film and a feature, and and that's where I came out with this th thirty minute movie. No. Okay. Uh, well, well, just being on set in production, uh, what's one of your fondest memories in in terms of making the film? Uh, my fondest memories. Um, well, writing it was uh, a very fond memory because that was when everything worked out, <laughs> <laughs> and and then when production came along. Uh, I mean, that was really tough, um, especially doing most of it by myself. I had one other crew member who, would, uh, who was my uh, second camera and, uh, s and sound and assistant grip, but that was it. I had no other crew members, so I was doing wow. it by myself. Wow. So, uh, that was, so that was a little bit tough. Yeah. And then um, editing it was also a lot of fun because that's when I got to play with the color palette and uh, some of the shots and get the story together. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So uh, I think... One of the things that I just think is awesome is uh, your poster for the film, um, oh, yeah. and 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 that's one of the things that I love is when an indie filmmaker like takes the time to also market the film in a, in a huge way. And I think that that I mean that that poster, I'm like, man, can Zach do my next <laughs> film? That's really awesome. What inspired you to do that? Because it's like the you see the son, the father, and the mother all in one, and it, they are all kind of like in this tree. Right, right. I I actually. Um... It's funny, I did that poster uh, for Rosebud, actually. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, um, w w when, you, when you sent out the email to asking for uh, production stills and other uh, production materials, uh, and, you, and one of those p materials was a poster, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I realized I'd done this, I'd done this film so long ago, and I haven't ever made a poster. <laughs> so I sat down and made the poster, and... Um, and that's what you got. But yeah, as far as the uh, explanation of what the poster is, is symbolizing, what it is, is it's the large head of the son, and inside of the son's head is the father, and inside of the father's head is the mother. So basically, that means that like, the mother is the obsession of the father, and then the father is the obsession of the son, and, and you know, so oh that's that. God. I think my mind just blew. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> and, and, then, and then the tree is, um, is supposed to uh, be... Um, Representative of the Giving Tree, um, right. ri ri written by uh, Shel Silverstein, mm -hmm. and um, the Giving Tree is a big part of this whole movie. In fact, and the boy was happy is is supposed to be representative of the line, and the tree was happy. Right. And in fact, that entire title is and and the boy was happy, but time went by. Just mm -hmm. like in the in the book, the 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 line is and the tree was happy, but time went by, as if to say that the boy was once happy. But time went by, and right. and you know people changed, and things grew older, and people grew older, and and passions changed, and people just got worse. <laughs> yeah, you know it's so funny, and I, I we had to wrap this up. I hate to do this, but um, I had literally just rented uh, the Giving Tree from the library, and I was reading it to my daughter, and then I saw the film, and I'm like, <laughs> I, so I knew where it came from. It was just mm -hmm. hilarious. All right, um, so Zach, uh, where can people find you and find the film? Let us know. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> I do have the phone, uh, the film, the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I have the film uh, on my website, which is zbomanesque. No, wait a minute. Is it Bowmanesque or Zach? It's Zach Bowmanesque. I'm sorry, because I have an email that's Z Bowmanesque. That's okay. You can find the film at zachbowmanesque.com, and it's uh, in with the rest of all my other uh, video portfolio work there. So. All right, Zach. Well, man, I, like I said, I think uh, you definitely are a visual filmmaker. You have 
I think if I hope you're going to continue doing this because if so, you're going to be one of those directors that like this is a Zach Bowman film, you know. Right. So 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 that's awesome. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Good luck Absolutely. in the festival. Thank you so much.